Tonight, police have arrested a man they say accidentally shot and killed one of his friends. Richmond police charged 19 year old Richard Siri with reckless homicide. Police say Siri was holding a rifle when it went off, shooting the victim in the head. Kristen Kennedy is tracking the investigation tonight. A lone gunshot on a Sunday night isn't what neighbors on Wayne Drive expected to hear. Well, we were sitting at our dining room table and we heard this loud, like, bang. I didn't think it was a gunshot, but apparently it was. Um, and then we heard right immediately after some crying and um, some yelling. It's scary enough for Megan Butler to think of her and her husband's lives in danger. Even more frightening is thinking about her daughter. Especially with her. Because she, her bedroom shares a wall with them too. Officers assured Butler her family is safe. They don't believe the shooting was planned. They say on the other side of her dining room, Cody Dittman held the barrel of a rifle to his head while Richard Seary pulled the trigger. Richard Seary is behind bars now, facing a reckless homicide charge. He declined our request for an interview. It's not that bad of a neighborhood. It's mainly college kids that live here, and they try to keep to themselves. Neighbors like Travis Burns find the shooting very unusual and tragic. It's kind of shocking, you know. It's sad to hear that something like that would happen in this apartment complex, and it was just shocking and sad. In Madison County, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. After the shooting, Richmond police also cited 21 year old Zachary Redmersky for unlawful transaction with a minor. They say he gave alcohol to Siri. They also say the rifle belonged to Redmersky.